Hooey! Will you look at that? Hey everyone, Noctra here and welcome to episode 2 of our Singapore Let's Play series. Um, yeah, the, if you just join into this series as we didn't miss that much. We do need petroleum however, so let's go get some of that. Russia will be our ally for that. No, actually let's get it from China. Does China have any? Let's see here. China, China, China. Nope, China only has 5. Fine, we'll go with Russians, Russian oil. That will obviously slow down our construction speed because now we only have three civilian factories. But there's one more on the way. Let's... Let's actually get one. Let's get two civilian factories and two more military factories. I'm prioritizing civilian factories because we're doing import-export a lot in this game. So, yeah, that's that. Other than that, there's nothing much. Uh, we still have our five divisions here by Lieutenant General Torrent Sung. Let's just set this to red as well. Okay. But I can already tell you, uh, Malaysia is going to be a tough nut to crack. They have three of them. I just they just had three units on JB, so I'm going to have to push in this way. And encircle Johor Bahru if that's possible. But they do have a port, so they won't run out of supply. But uh, yeah, he he is hoping. Maybe we'll get JB first. I don't know. We'll see. All right, real intelligence stations done. And oh, the world's views. What we need the world's views. Uh, where is that? The world's views. I think I'm blind. I can't actually look for it. Oh, it's here. It's here. Right. Um, we need international diplomacy. Huh. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not connected here. I thought it was connected through here. We do need the world's views and we do need uh, our place and this. Okay, okay, then let's just go for international diplomacy. This is... Uh, if you're gonna... Uh, if you join this series just to see war, you're not gonna see much for at least, like, the first 10 episodes. Or maybe 7. Because all this will just be prep work. So, uh, yeah. Uh, since we have... No, we don't have enough to actually boost the Communist Party. Uh... Yeah, we need a hundred political points to boost the Communist Party, so that will come eventually. I just realized I've got to hit play. I'm a potato. My bad. So, uh, if you're wondering, after Malaysia, where do we go? Right. So afterwards, I'm thinking of uh, Thailand's a bit too big of a country to take, though. I mean, if they capitulate and this still remains, we obviously have to do a naval invasion, but. Uh, afterwards we can go for Brunei and maybe yeah Indonesia is way too big as well I don't like that I think it's best to go for Thailand first this is a very easy point to push from from Hat Yai over here or Kota Baru from in, in Malaysia we can push in through here quite easily and all the way to the gate of Bangkok so um I don't know. Uh, we'll see. After we take Malaysia. No rush. But I think with the latest patch, we do actually need to capture this bit of Malaysia here. Like this bit of Malaysia right here. What is this? Uh, Kyrgyz Kyr I can't even pronounce it. Kyrgyzstan election. I don't really care. Uh, anyways. Here, I think yeah, we do have to naval invade. I think Kuching or Cebu. And then we'll take Brunei. Brunei is the easy pick. So, uh, yeah, if you want me to attack Indonesia first, I'll try, but they have... Just just look at their... Um, how do I check the yeah, details? They have 38 divisions. You only have 5. Like, let that sink in for a minute. You only have 5 divisions. They have thirty up to 38 divisions. Malaysia is how much again? 18. Yeah, Malaysia is a fairly easy pick. How about, let's check. Uh, ooh, George W. Bush won the election in the U.S. Interesting. 
Uh, now it's Republican. Uh, yeah. Uh, no problems with that. I don't care, and I shouldn't. And you just check how much do does how many units does Thailand have? Twenty six. Yeah. See, Indonesia will be a tougher nut to crack than Thailand. But once we start justifying a war goal, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be they're gonna they're gonna start focusing on their military a lot more. So yeah, I think Thailand is a better pick. But like I said, uh, we'll get to it. Anyways, uh, oh, hang. Improved computing is done. Is there anything with naval invasions here? Yes, uh, landing craft. Let's get, uh, AF AAS, amphibious assault ships. Yeah, that will help with our naval invasion. I think we'll need that though. So it's good to have it. Modified government. Okay, let's see here. So the more we spend here, very large military spending, we get more recruitable population. That will significantly increase our, our, yeah, let's do that. Huge military spending. Let's go. And how much more manpower did we get? I think we got a bit more. I think we got a bit. Let me let me check. I don't. I think I just wasted it. Military industry construction. Yeah. Uh, it does raise our output a little bit, but yeah, that's that's actually completely fine. I'm completely okay with that. Can we recruit one more? Yeah, we can. Yeah. So they gave us a lot more. Like we we have one more division now. Thanks to that. Uh, and what, what, what are you complaining about? What do you need? CNC equipment, utility vehicle, APCs. We are, we are building APCs and uh, what's, what's the other one again? Main battle tank. All right. Main battle tank. There we are. Main battle tank. Okay, and what are they complaining about? CNC utility APC. Okay, let's start with CNC first. That should be under here. I think this is CNC right here. So uh, I'll let you finish the IFVs and the APC so because that's required. Uh, IFV. Yeah, I'll let them finish the IRV and APCs first. I'll check on it periodically. Decisions available, let's see. Um, yeah, this will affect our political power again. We don't want that. Foreigners killed by jihadists in Afghanistan. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I mean, all the Allahu Akbar shit isn't working out for you then, huh? International diplomacy is done. Let's go straight for... What's this? Yeah, we want to go down to Eastern Emergence and the Rising Powers here. So... This will give us 10 domestic influence and this will give us uh, more opinion. I think we get the domestic influence first, that's better for us. We do need both to actually complete this. Yeah, we need both. And after this, I think... I'll go down the in industry route to actually, yeah, I'll go down the industry route to improve our industry over here. That's my current goal so far. And yeah, let's continue. We're already in 2001, the year I was born in. Should we train these guys? Yeah, let's just let's train these guys. Why not? No, actually, no, that's a bad idea. Bad idea. We heard our supply and we need a lot more stuff here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. Let's start with the first one. 
during a phone call with the Lebanese Prime Minister Hafez al-Assad, the President of Syria died. Oh, okay, that's pitiful. 40 days of mourning in Syria. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, Indonesian election. Uh, emerging Democratic Party of Struggle. Emerging Outlook. Victorious election. What, what party are they now? Are they still called Indonesia? Yeah, they are still called Indonesia. So... So yeah, they, they went for the emerging outlook. Alright, uh, let's continue. Communism is slowly rising here. We are about to surpass the Workers' Party. Singapore People's Democratic Progress Party 0 0.4 Singapore People's Party 2.3 NSP 6.5 SDP 6.7 Communist 8.3 Yeah, it's very, very rapidly going up Yeah, it might surpass the Workers' Party even before the end of the end of June, I think in this game Increased consumer confidence, what's this? Recent conditions within the Singapore economy have shown that the consumer that now is the perfect time to spend money and make investments. People are buying goods and never before. Oh, wonderful. We get more st stability and higher construction speed. Replace stable growth with fast growth. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want. Anyways, what's this? Uh, we get more political power. I believe in... I believe in better healthcare for our people, so I'm gonna go with basic universal healthcare first and not advanced, because I don't want to have that much tax. One percent is actually quite a lot. Uh, yeah, we our daily income is just down the shitter, and our expenses are kind of outweighing that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this alone for a minute. What does this do? Basic civil service administration. Uh, what does this do? Daily political power, highest, highest stability, military industry. Oh yes, definitely we want that. Uh, let's check the other options first though. Yeah, uh, I'll go for that. And we are police, police state. Free universal health, universal quality education. And yeah, uh, that's that's okay. Mandatory service. For women as well, local security, uh, what's this? Generate war go tension limit goes down. But that costs 600 political powers. Jesus. I'm just going to, out of curiosity, I'm going to check with unrestrained corruption. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's not good for our country, huh? Uh, yeah, so... Yep, let's just continue. Our place is almost done. The focus, national focus, our place is done. Diplomatic positions, let's go. 70 days. Japan proposes to, no, oh, sorry. Japan proposes to construct one civilian industry in Singapore. 18 billion, Japan is offering a deal, 25% of the construction. No, I don't think we, like, look at our expenditure and look at our income. It's, it's not looking too well, is it? Oh, what's this? Reducing civilian industries available for construction. What if we raise that? I'm just going to decline this. And can we raise and lower that? No, we can't. But, um... Yeah, I'm just going to reject any offers unless it's from, like, China or any communist country. Cuba, probably. It's a long shot, but... Why not? 
Anyways, how's our equipment doing? Yeah, we're still working on the IFVs and the um, APCs. We do need more tanks, small arms upgrades. Uh, we don't need any for supply though. How's recruitment going? Yep, uh, APC is going up. Sterilithography is done. Let's just do production efficiency growth. Yeah, let's get better in, in uh, speed. Data mining, let's go. And off we are again. Uh, uh, yeah, we do we do need to actually borrow money once our treasury depletes, which is gonna be quite soon. Look at the, look at the rates going down. Holy crap! Investment offer, no thanks. I have enough problems as is. Communist is at nine point eight percent. Yep, civilian factory still doing well. Diplomacy not interested. Trade. We are importing steel and oil though. Wait, we do have a surplus of steel, don't we? Oh no, we don't. Uh, it was green, but this one was uh, this one was white. So let's get that back. Diplomatic positions are done. Let's go for the world's views finally. Gerhard Schroeder is re-elected for Germany from the S. I don't know what's that in German, but it's the SDP, Western Outlook. Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's see who is that guy. Actually, I have no idea. But before that, let's get some steel first. Steel. Uh, give me Russian steel. Where's Russian steel? Russia, Russia, Russia. No, let's get Chinese steel. Yep. Seems about good. Let's pop over to Germany real quick to see how's Germany doing. Yep, this guy is steel leader. Um... Yeah, nothing much happening in Europe, I guess. Somalia is, is having trouble though. Like, it's, it, this entire stretch is supposed to be Somalia. From Ju Jubal land all the way to Somaliland. That's supposed to be the whole of Somalia, but... Um, yeah, they, they obviously have some ide uh, ideology issues here on their own. This looks like some American wearing shades and having a big beard. Hmm. I'll leave, I'll leave them to it. It's not my problem. And I don't really care anyways. Philippines election. Joseph Estrada forms new government. Uh, okay. Again, good, but I don't care. Oh yeah, Pol political point suspended. Um, let's see here. We need to reduce our expenditure. But I don't want to lose out on the construction speed and all those. Let's go back on the health budget a little bit. Basic hospital subsidies. Yeah, and... Uh, This I'll keep. Huge military spending I'll keep. Extensive police and intelligence apparatus. Yeah, I'll go for this. It will drop us by 0 0.01 billion. That's a lot. I'm trying my best to keep our reserves afloat. And I'll go back to police state once we actually have enough money. Uh, Communist Mongolian People's Party re-elected. Yeah, uh, don't know, don't care. <laughs> Alright, let's spend more on boosting the Communist Party. Yep. Oh, we 
have a war here. Wait, what? Syria declared war on Syria. What Syria are we talking about? S nope, Syria's down here. Syria declared war on Syria. The Muslim, oh, the Muslims versus the socialists. I see. Oh, Tripoli is actually here. Isn't Tripoli a state in... Where? The, the, the it, it, Italy? Tripoli? Um... I guess not. Okay, I always thought Tripoli was a... Was an uh, Italian city. Syrian civil... Wow. Okay, that was quick. Syrian civil war... Wait, no, it's still going on. Uh, yep, they're still fighting. But the, but the side with uh, Bashar is winning. If they lose Aleppo, they're screwed. The northern side. If they lose Aleppo, they're screwed. Yep, they're on the gates of Aleppo and Raqqa. Alright, the world's view is done. Uh, let's go for Eastern Emergence. Yep, let's do that. Political power. Actually, yeah, I have no idea what these mean. Consumption economy. A consumer economy describes an economy driven by consumer spending as a percent of its gross domestic product. As opposed to the other major. Okay, I don't get it. What does this do? Export economy. We already have very little resources as is. So... Isolation, what does isolation do? Hmm. This will drop our military wages. Wages. You know what, I'm just gonna get more infantry army thingies. ST Engineering, let's go for that. I think that is a legitimate company, but I'm not very sure. Might need to read up on that. Where is Singapore? And surprisingly, Archer still hasn't fallen yet. Even without a port, they're still holding out, man. Decisions, decisions, okay. Um... Oh, we can actually launch an uprising to overthrow the government. Hmm. What's the rest? I think we're not gonna overthrow this PAP thing, but I think we're just gonna do it the normal way through elections. Uh, okay, let's see. Report from an influencer. What's this? I will recognize Transnistria because that is uh, a communist country. So yes, recognize Transnistria. Uh, Somali, Somaliland... Communist? I right. let me check. Be right back. Uh, Somaliland, where are you? They are here. Uh, no, Somaliland's the guy with. Oh, that's Dubai land. Okay. So Somaliland, yes. Social Democrats. Nope, not communists. Don't care. Don't bother. All right, let's continue. Well, looking at it at the same time. I'm not gonna recognize Republic of China. Let's rescind. Oh. Redraw recognition. Okay, that's what rescind means. We have 100 political points so we can spend it on something again. Yeah, we might have to take a loan. 
investment offer from Japan. Uh, decline. Yep, Syria won the the normal Syria. Yep, 9-11. 9-11 9-11's happening boys 9-11 Yup America's in deep shit right now Uh Anyways back here Um You know what I know this is a waste But I'm going back to large military spending This is just I can't afford to pay the debts And I'll drop back to higher education focus. I can't pay this I can't pay these debts. American anthrax attacks. The war on terror is finally here. My vision is done. Um I think we get more artillery. Uh, no, actually, no, I don't want that. I want more camouflage. No, that's 400 days. Holy crap. Okay, let's focus on research a little bit. Uh, industrial, whatever that is, let's get it. Yep, I'm sure. Eastern Emergence, the Rising Powers. Let's go for that. And it's not played yet. So who's America we war with again? No one. Thought the war on terror started. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's check this. IFVs are done, we have actually a bonus. So let's cancel that. Make some more tanks. And once tanks is done, I'll go for the Land Rovers. John Howard re-elected. Data mining is done, great. Let's go for machine learning. We desperately need to in increase our army size. Yeah, see, they already have three on JB. Guantanamo Bay Detention Center, okay. Sierra Leone took one state. Sierra Leone is all the way down here, isn't it? Actually, I don't remember. Never mind. Anyways, that's about it for this episode. It's going been going on for quite a while, so we are making progress. The Communist Party is slowly growing. As you can see, it's really surpassed the Workers' Party. And we have a healthy amount of political points. But in the next episode, I'll definitely work on our our treasury here. It's, get, it's going down the, the crapper, man. It's not good. We have to take more debts. We have to take more loans. So uh, yeah, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.